Oh no, it's happened again. This is always happening to me. This Nissan Leaf of mine has just run out of petrol. Uh, my mobile phone has got no signal and it's a flat battery. What am I going to do? I just need someone to bring me a can of gas out here so I can get this thing moving. I know, I've got an idea. The easy calm, yes, answers all my prayers. Right, with the easy calm ZX1, I should be able to get hold of Mick and he can pop out here and save me. Telescopic antenna. Oh, look at that beast. Okay. Right, hopefully we can use this amazing Cybernet ZX1 to see if Mick can come and save me. Let's see if Mick's about. Hi, uh, hi there Mick, I don't know if you can help me. Uh, I'm in the Nissan Leaf and uh, yeah, I appear to have run out of petrol. Uh, my mobile phone is flat, I've got no way of contacting anyone. Luckily I've got this Cybernet ZX1 in the back and uh, hopefully you can come out and bring me some petrol and get me moving, what do you reckon? Yeah, fine, fine with that, yes. That's, uh... Good job I've got a can of petrol in the, uh, the shed there for the mower. That, that's full up, so that, that should solve the problem. Oh, hang on. How's petrol going to work in an electric car? I thought the leaf was electric. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it must be something else then. Oh, dear. Okay, thanks for your help. <laughs> Some of you may have spotted that. Yeah, it is an electric car. But anyway, this is a scenario that may well have happened um, back in the day, as they always say, uh, when we didn't have mobile phones, we didn't have any way of getting hold of anyone. And I'm sure having one of these in the boot was quite a lot, particularly to say women that were traveling alone in vehicles, was probably quite a little bit of comfort in the back of their minds that they knew that there was some way of at least raising somebody at some point to come and help them should they have a problem. So anyway, yes, we do uh, have Mick on the other end. And what we've, do, we've done is we've brought the Serial antenna out and we're going to just see what the differences between the two because the weak thing with a lot of these systems is isn't the radio as we've seen here which is very very good uh, the weak part about these are the antennas so uh, we'll just see what Mick thinks uh, uh, between this over and the uh, antenna at his end all right thanks for that Mick that was uh, superb and uh, I'll gather your recording at your end Yeah, one one bar on the on the meter, Paul. Paul, but your audio is is readable, so it's just the white noise has come up. That's all. Okay, Rog. Yeah, appreciate that. Fair play. I'll um, we'll swap the antennas over now. You're certainly a good signal with me. Right, we've now got the uh, the Sirio antenna. We've now got the Sirio antenna uh, plugged into this bad boy. We'll see what difference that makes. Hi there Mick, uh, we've now got the Sirio antenna on the roof. Uh, has that made any difference, Rog? Yes, that has. Your audio is a lot, a lot louder. It's still only one bar, but your audio has come up quite a, quite a bit, Paul. So that is, um, still got a little bit of white noise as well, but the audio is fine. Yeah, it's the same with you there, Mick. I'm yeah, Rog, well, this is the, uh, the Sirio antenna. And uh, yeah, it's, um, it's just a little bit longer than the telescopic one, but the uh, telescopic one I think it's performed pretty good. I'd be uh, certainly quite pleased with that if, uh, back in the day if I'd been using that. Uh, not as bad as perhaps uh, some of the reports might, might suggest, so uh, unless my stereo isn't as good, <laughs> of course. But um, okay, um, we'll, what we'll do is we'll probably quickly try the second location to see if we can get in from there on the stereo. Um, uh, I don't know if the telescopic antenna will do it, uh, but yeah, we'll do that. Right, if you've been watching the channel, you'll know that we use these two locations for my video tests. And um, what we've done is um, we've got uh, Mick at the other end uh, with his T800, and we're using the ZX1, and we're going to stick with the root, the, the Sirio rooftop antenna because uh, I think it's the only thing that's going to cut through from here. Um, but the telescopic antenna is only marginally less effective, so it's still, uh, you know, for me, that still is working pretty well. Now, the problem we've got today is 
We may well have to budge because of the farmers, but we'll we'll certainly try anyway. So we'll see if we can get hold of Mick on this and uh, and see if we're cut through. We're about six miles. Hi there, uh, Mick. I don't know if you're receiving me. I'm now at lo the second location, six miles uh, from uh, from you. There, go ahead. Well, you're, you're almost as strong with me as you were uh, back at the other location. Incredibly good. Um, if you want to do some recording at your end now, and then we can let the listeners see what the difference is. Uh, we're, uh, we're six miles away, and this radio is doing three and a half watts, Rog. Yeah, OK, I'll start the recording now. Yeah, this is bus stop this end. I'm transmitting to Paul again, the secret squirrel. And I hope he's receiving me this time. He's a. And I hope he's receiving me this time. He's a. He's gone to a different location, a little bit further away. And I am just about receiving him, as we will see in a moment. Yeah, Rog. Um, cheers for that. Uh, you're you're a great signal with me, and uh, this radio has been optimised today on the bench. So. We're using a serial antenna, not the telescopic antenna, uh, which I just don't think is going to quite cut through. Uh, but I tell you what, it's, it's not done a bad job. Um, really pleased with this ZX-1. Uh, the squelch operation on it is probably one of the best I've had on any radio. Uh, quite incredible, really. So Cybernet uh, did a really good job with this radio. I'd be interested to know how the General Electric version, uh, the AM version, works as well, Mick. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, this has been a successful test of the ZX-1. Fantastic little radio. Yeah, okay Paul, all copied. Just about readable as well and uh, one bar, just one bar with me I'm afraid but yeah you are getting through, the white noise is there increasing a little bit but um, no, very very good and that's from a, a, the second location that you normally go to so uh, yeah round to you Paul. Well, I really, uh, I really think Cybernet came up with something pretty darn good here with this one. Um, probably a, an underappreciated uh, device, really. I mean, this one is in, in, in incredibly good condition, so I'm very pleased to have one in such good nick because uh, I've seen some that are not quite as great. But because, um, of course, you know, some people might have used these practically uh, quite a bit, and uh, you know, as is with everything that gets thrown in the boot of a car, and uh, when things break down and you get your oily hands out, things uh, are never going to look pristine. So imagine either this person had a very good vehicle that never broke down or uh, it basically just didn't leave the house maybe they just uh, like to use it as a normal cb because uh, you know there's nothing to stop you doing that anyway i hope you've enjoyed this little blast from the past with this uh, amazing little cybernet radio and uh, i certainly recommend uh, if you see these come up i recommend you get them one if you're a bit of a collector to add to the collection because not only are they unusual and they look great but they actually really work well as well so and you don't often get that with cbs do you Right, uh, join us on the next one. More shenanigans with the President Randy. Uh, me and Mick are going to do some more testing. If you have been, thanks ever so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.